Well, good afternoon and welcome to live coverage of Chesant United versus Hamilton and Waterlooville in the National League South. I'm Matt Drabble. Alongside me as ever is Adam Nixon. And the atmosphere, unlike most National League South games we've witnessed down the years, is building nicely ahead of this one. The both sets of fans in the bar behind us hurling insults and chants at one another. And it's making for quite a nice setting. The sun is shining north of London. It's 22 degrees in October. What more could you ask for, Adam, than a beautiful game of National League South football? Hawks looking to build on the late equaliser they got against Bath and aim this mini winless streak in the 2022-23 season. It's sent back to Ray, who's just going to fire a di early diagonal towards the right-hand side. Joe Newton's going to let it bounce and just hold off Libba down to the corner and win an early free kick for the Hawks. Good full-back play there from Joe Newton. Knew he wasn't going to get the better of the sizable Libba through Oscar Goban, a former England under-18 international, of course, during his time with Southampton. James Roberts right of centre now, lining up a shot from range. He's going to test Rose in that Chesant goal for the first time today. And Rose is going to put an outstretched fingertip and lift it over the bar. Haven't on Waterlooville corner kick. Chesant right now with a throw midway inside opposition territory on the right hand side. And they look like they're winding up a long one from this position. It's absolutely launched towards that near post area. Out the hands of Zach Newton, headed only as far as Newton again. Back into the area and headed just over the bar. Final touch was off Rowan Libbard. He rose really well and just headed it past Ross Warner's left hand post. Free kick given away, or free kick given away by Chesson, which Hamilton and Waterlooville will take quickly on halfway. It's had a strange pace about this game so far. Hamilton and Waterlooville have played a 1-2 with Roberts and Reed, and Reed is away on the right. Rolled along the near post. Jason Pryor is trying to help it into the path of Mo Fowl. Easily scooped up by Rose. The number nine, Rowan Libbard, and the number two, Raul De Silva. Neither look particularly that much shy of about six foot five as they tower above the Hawks defenders. In swinging delivery to come off the boot of Warner Ely. It's a good ball towards the penalty spot all the way through to Billy Clifford and then Newton will hit the follow-up blocks in front of goal. Loose ball, Warner saves. It's a remarkable save and almost turned in at the second attempt but the offside flags up. What incredible reactions from Russ Warner. The flag might have gone up anyway but after a goal mouth melee, the Hawks goalkeeper launches himself across his goal line to palm away what should have been a tap-in at the back post but haven't a Waterlooville corner kick from the left-hand side. An in-swinging delivery will come off the boot of the former Chelsea Academy man, Billy Clifford. Hawks grouping players on the toes of goalkeeper Rose. Clifford towards the goalkeeper's arms, who just gets a touch on it, runs all the way through to the back post, and Oscar Gobert helps it onto the roof of the net. Foul trying to run onto it. Clifford will help it back towards Mo Foul. Oscar Gobert picks up a loose ball out the eight, outside the centre circle. Newton. Just going to surge up that left flank once more for Hamilton Waterloo. Looking for a cross, rolled towards Jason Pryor, cleared away by Warner Ely. Only finds James Roberts, 25 yards from goal to foul. Back to Roberts, good football from the Hawks, and a curling effort finds the bottom right hand corner. A sumptuous bit of skill uh, has the opener. Well, this game has lacked quality in the opening half hour or so, but a moment of quality has broken the deadlock. The 1-2 between Roberts and Fahl. Roberts ran onto it, and it was a trademark finish off the boot of James Roberts, whipping his foot over the top of the ball, had the necessary lift to beat his man and curl it into the bottom right-hand corner of Joe Rose's goal. Joe Newton, Critchlow again, left wing. Looking to work past the silver. Newton's cross towards the head of Jason Pryor, who gets good contact on it, but lifts it past the post. Newton trying to sneak past Joe Oster, and he's done so successfully. Now a couple of step overs to work his way past McCarthy. Just couldn't get clean contact on the strike. Benny Reid heads away. Gio Critchlow will flick it onto <laughs> Mo Fowl with a clever touch. Fowl left of centre, looking to help it back to Gio Critchlow. 20 yards from goal. Back heel will find Fowl in the penalty area, looking to lift it over Rose. And the keeper does really well to spread himself and palm it away. Oscar Goben will just recycle possession to Joe Oster, the left-sided centre-back, who's bringing it forward from the back, waiting for space for open up to Joe Newton on the left. Joe Newton charts the cross. It's a good delivery in a great area, and it couldn't be tucked home from Jason Pryor arriving at the back post. An inch-perfect cross from Joe Newton. Put it right in that corner of uncertainty between the centre-backs and the goalkeeper. It ran all the way through to Pryor, who couldn't finish. Clifford falls to the turf as he tries to spin the pressure of Ray. Benny Reid... 
clipped into the channel prior to give chase against Warner Ely. The fullback gets there first, but gets his feet in a muddle and gives it right back to the Hawks with James Roberts' right wing. Roberts driving towards the edge of the penalty area to foul. Back to Roberts. Wonderful football, and it's 2 0 having at Waterloo Vale. It's foul and Roberts connecting again to devastating effect, and the Hawks have a two goal lead in Hertfordshire. Clifford's found James Roberts just shy of the halfway line on the right-hand side. He goes back to Billy Clifford, formerly of Chelsea, of course. Looking forward to Mo Fowl, takes it in stride with a wonderful touch, but it's pulled him slightly wide, down by the byline. Can he find a white shirt from this position? Right-hand side of the penalty area, driven across goal, all the way to the back post. Pryor can't sort his feet out. Finds Gio Critch, though, though. Critch, though, is going to shoot himself and lifts it over the bar and out behind for a goal kick. But chasing their fourth win of the season to go along with the 11 losses they've been handed already. Good delivery towards the back of the Hawks penalty area. Might drop to Ken Charles. Instead, all the way through to the back post. Surely a chance for Beckles Richards to fire in. Warner leaps in front of it and saves it well. It just wouldn't sit for Beckles Richards in time to fire into the empty net. Corner kick coming up from the right for Chesnut United. In swinging delivery from Warner Ely. Another good delivery in a good area. Ken Charles helps it into the back of the net. Not sure who got the last touch. Ken Charles is being congratulated by his teammates. It hit his chest more than anything and it bounced through a crowd and bounced past Ross Warner, and it's Chesant 1, Haven't and Waterlooville 2, and we could be in for an interesting last half an hour in this one. To Goburn and back into the heart of midfield with Jake McCarthy. McCarthy going to break some lines with a run of his own. Still going, Jake McCarthy from range, driven towards the near post of Rose. Can Fall turn in the rebound? No, and the offside flag's gone up anyway. Haven't and Waterlooville corner kick from the right. Billy Clifford to deliver this outswinger into the sea of shirts in the penalty area. Jason Pryor, Joe Wassler, Danny Wright, Jake McCarthy, all targets. It's towards Pryor. It's headed away well by Ray. Helped back into the penalty area by McCarthy. Into foul, who tucks home. Flag stays down. Having a Waterlooville back with a two-goal lead. And it's Mo Fowl who tormented Chesant last season. They've come up a division, and he's tormenting them again. McCarthy helped it back to Mo Fowl in the penalty area. He settled the ball, had all the time in the world to just side foot it past Joe Rose and into the far corner. Having a Waterlooville organising their wall now in front of Ross Warner in the Hawks goal. Four in the wall, it's Goburn, McCarthy, Roberts and Wright. Warner Ely to take the free kick, dead central 30 yards out. It was a good effort, but it's driven into the Cheshunt fans behind the goal. It's gone short for Cheshunt, into Dejon Golding, back out to the left, looking to work room for a shot, but the Hawks have pinched it back through Billy Clifford. Fowl's continued a long run forward. Fowl waiting for the ball to come for Billy Clifford. It eventually drops to Mo Fowl, who's just turned inside of Newton. Fowl bearing down on goal on his second. He's put it past the post. It would have been a wonderful goal for Mo Fowl, who held off his man all the way. He spun Newton. He strode towards goal, but he went for the bottom right when the space was opening up to the bottom left. Plenty of white shirts in the middle to aim for for Clifford. One of them's Jake McCarthy, one of them's Joe Oster, who's crashed it off the bar. Might drop loose to Danny Wright, helped back into the melee, but cleared away again. Roberts out there to meet him. Warner Ely looking just to spin and find a cross towards goal. Nowhere to go, but he's got past James Roberts at the second attempt towards the back post, headed towards goal by De Silva and headed into the far corner. And Chesant have one back. Well, maybe, just maybe. This could spell a little bit of trouble for Hamilton Waterlooville at the very end of the game. Clifford kicks it, for, kicks it long, but that will do it. Not even enough time for Chesant to kick off after their late, late consolation goal.